Hey guys, Barbie Van Horn, day one of 50 and 50, so keep me on track here. Um, I am picking on Dick Taylor Chocolate because I am so well stocked in Dick Taylor Chocolate, and I love this company, I love the people behind it and their families. They're down in Eureka, California, which you have to drive through the Redwoods to get to. It's this coastal town, and it's just a charming town, which just fits their company perfectly. I'm so glad they're there. So, of the bars that I have, the Vietnam and the Solomon Islands, I'm not sure, so sure those are available anymore, so I'm kind of glad I have them in my collection, but you have to ask Dick Taylor. Dick Taylor guys join it chime in and let us know if, if these are available again super rapid fire here because I know you don't have all day to watch chocolate videos and I want to get through some of what I've got and a little bit about the company and the packaging and the flavors that I'm tasting in their chocolate so I've also got Brazil Guatemala Madagascar they have other origins than this and they have some um, inclusion bars they have a fleur de sel which is great and they also have a fig bar oh my goodness everybody goes nuts so over the fig bar if you like figs so um, if you can get your hands on those fantastic bars so today I tasted their Belize which is so cool because I have their sipping chocolate which is also Belize but they taste completely different when you taste them the sipping chocolate is bold love it because it gets a real kick in the pants as far as when I need to get out the door in the morning or I need to something really dark bold sipping chocolate um, kind of reminds me of like bourbon the way that it's um, the flavors come across and that's a uh, very Typical that your sipping chocolate is going to taste different than your chocolate bar That's made with the exact same cacao and the exact same people are making it because when you add hot water or Hot milk. I usually use it in water um, To a chocolate all the flavors hit you all at once rather than slowly melting on your palate and and getting the flavors on your tongue so I tasted the Belize this morning and this is the, the Belize bar, and of course I only have half a bar because I've been tasting it for the last couple days. Number one, the lattice work is fantastic, but back to the flavors. The flavors are fantastic. I got a huge caramely hit first, and then it went into the dried plum, tart cherry. Now on the packaging it says that there's a hint of jasmine, and I kind of did get that after I tasted several times, but I had to kind of search for the jasmine flower. But that's okay because everybody's palate is completely, completely different so if you've tasted this please let me know what you thought on this I have one more thing from Jack Taylor which I don't have any of it's their uh, chocolate coated almonds if you can get some of their chocolate coated nuts they're fantastic they're perfectly crisp on the inside and then on the outside they are covered with this craft chocolate they go really really well with a very nice porter um, or just for snacking on they do not last long in our house we opened these I think we went through them all in like two days so I don't think I've talked about the packaging. Things I love about Dick Taylor's packaging. Number one, it feels great. It's got this nice texture to it, this uh, linen-y texture. Number two, they own the printing presses that these are printed on, but they're housed over at Just My Type, which is a printing press in Eureka, just around the corner from them. And so when I was visiting them, we went in and saw that they said, hey, the, the printer is, I think, printing our, our packages on their printing press today. So we walked over there and actually saw the printing the Dick Taylor packages, which was kind of cool for a nerdy chocolate geek like me. I will um, try to link up to that video because I took some video of it when I was there. And number one, it looks great. Number two, they put the origin front and center because otherwise geeky people like me are looking it up all the time. Number three, the map on the back. Absolutely love that because again, geeky people like me are looking it up if you don't have it. Number three, it is an envelope so you can put your chocolate back in there. Um, we talked about the lattice work on the chocolate bar. It is beautiful and it works very, very well for a gift because people are so impressed when they open it. So that's everything I know about Dick Taylor as quickly as possible. And I'm trying to keep these videos very, very short because I know you don't have all day to watch videos. So chime in, let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing you on day two. Hopefully it'll be shorter.